Welcome back. Today it's August 21st, and it's Jeremiah chapter 41 through 45. I've entitled this devotion, It's No Use to Serve the Lord. Taken from Jeremiah chapter 44 through chapter 44, verse 15 through 18. Then all the men who knew that their wives were burning incense to other gods, along with all the women who were present, a large assembly, and all the people living in lower and upper Egypt, said to Jeremiah, before I read the next verse, they had sent Jeremiah to go to God and hear what God had to say to them, and they promised they would obey every word. Now Jeremiah comes to give him the word, and this is what they say in verse 16. We will not listen to the message you've spoken to us in the name of the Lord. We'll certainly do everything we said we would. We'll burn incense to the Queen of Heaven and pour out drink offerings to her, just as we and our fathers, our kings, and our officials did in the towns of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem. At that time, we had plenty of food, were well off, and suffered no harm. But ever since we stopped burning incense to the Queen of Heaven and pouring out drink offerings to her, we've had nothing and have been perishing by the sword and famine. The people of Judah just asked Jeremiah to tell them what the Lord had to say. The understanding was they would hear it and obey. When Jeremiah gave them the word of the Lord, they refused to obey it. They wanted to hear a different message. Listen to the response to God again. We will not listen to the message. Now consider the reason for not obeying. Since we began offering sacrifice to the queen of heaven, we had everything we needed. We did not, we did not have enough food when we stopped burning incense to the queen of heaven. Not only that, but we've been having all sorts of trouble and hardship since we ceased offering to her. When were they doing this? In the land of Judah, not in Egypt. But they started worshiping the queen of heaven in the land of Judah. And once they start, started worshiping, what happened? They prospered. They got food and clothes. They were well off. No wars, no, no famine, no, no, no pain. But then when the prophet came and stopped doing, said, stop doing this, it offends God, they stopped. What happened? They didn't have any food. They didn't have any clothes. Wars rose among them. Do you see a pattern in these last few days of devotion? Habakkuk complained that everything was bad and only getting worse. What was his reply to God? I'll worship you no matter what the outer circumstances of my life are. It doesn't matter because I want to know you. Jeremiah obeyed God and delivered his message, and his life did not go well afterward. Yet he never stopped obeying. How about you today? Are you remaining faithful to God even though things have not gone as you would like? Are you rejoicing even though inflation is going through the roof? Are you remaining faithful to even though many of your friends inside and outside the church have decided not to follow Christ anymore because the cost has just become too much. Authentic worship happens when you only have Jesus and he's enough. Listen to the words from the psalmist in Psalm 73, 25, and 26. Who do I have in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart might fail, but God's the strength of my heart and my portion forever. God, you're enough for me. If I never receive anything else, you're enough for me.